An experiment to revive the dead has been blocked in India by the Indian Council of Medical Research, or ICMR. I'm Sasha Wood here to tell you how we've just dodged Reanimator for now at least here on IO. The experiment was announced in May of 2016 and was dubbed Reanima. It was slated to begin clinical trial registry on November 11th of 2016. However, they were blocked by the ICMR. The proposed experiment went as follows: Himanshu Bansal, an orthopedic surgeon, planned to give 20 brain dead individuals a variety of interventions, such as injections of stem cells. Peptides, transcranial laser stimulation, and other methods to try and restart brain function. Of all these methods, he seemed the most excited for transcranial laser stimulation, which is the process of firing off near infrared light into the brain. The method has been used to successfully improve cognitive function of patients with a traumatic brain injury. The key word there, however, being injury, not brain death, which is the total cessation of function. The aim of the project, according to Bansal, was to bring brain dead individuals back to a minimally conscious state. It's alive! In this state, he hoped they could perform some automatic functions, such as track objects with their eyes. Basal is a firm believer that patients can recover full cognition from a minimally conscious, previously brain dead state, despite the fact that there is very little data to support this. His detractors have stated While there have been numerous demonstrations in the recent years that the human brain and nervous system may not be as fixed and irreparable as is typically assumed, the idea that brain death could be easily reversed seems very far fetched. The ICMR shut the experiment down for a number of reasons, one of them being the lack of communication with the Drug Controller General of India, which is a base requirement for all trials that take place there. There were also concerns raised about the lack of experiments with animals, basically jumping from theory straight to human trial. Bensal defended this by saying there were no suitable animal models to simulate results that would be comparable. However, what may have done him in ultimately were some of the ethical concerns, stating that returning these people to a vegetative state would be cruel and horrifying for their families, even if they were the ones to volunteer them. Despite this, there were supporters, such as the Philadelphia-based firm from BioQuark. They were set to donate peptides for the trial in an attempt to regenerate brain cells. BioQuark, whose tagline is the next generation therapeutics for human regeneration, was recently granted funding in the spring of 2016 by the USA regulatory authorities. This makes them the first company to have authorization to begin experiments on revival. Their experiments consist of attempts to restore brain function using many of the same methods proposed by the Reanima experiments, including synthetic proteins, stem cells, and the laser electrical stimulation of the median nerve. On Reanima, they had this to say. The Reanima project started as a very unique attempt using the tools of regenerative medicine, both cellular and biologic, to begin to explore the possibilities for neural and vascular regeneration in the brain stems of recently deceased individuals. An area of research known all over the world as living cadaver research, which falls outside the realm of traditional research. This is the nature of the program. No word yet as to whether Bansal will look for another host country to try this experiment. This fascination with reanimation is nothing new. For centuries, the idea of being able to pierce the veil of death and return the mind to the body have driven many an artist and scientist. In 1940, Soviet researchers released a film called Experiments in the Revival of Organisms, where they purport to show methods of reviving individual body parts and organs by reintroducing blood flow into the organism. One such experiment is a dog being drained of most of the blood in its body and left for 10 minutes and then re-injected using the autojector as it's called to replenish blood, and allegedly this dog recovered and lived a normal life. As you can tell, these experiments not only sound like the work of science fiction and mad science, but also unethical, bordering on cruel. But alas, that is how some of the best advancements have been made. Are we now at a point where revival from brain death is possible? Can consciousness truly be revived from the point where the body lives but the mind does not? For many of these patients, their automatic functions are being supported by machinery. Can elements of the brain that have ceased to exist be reformed from nothing, stimulated by the mere presence of encouraging peptides and fresh cells? BioQuark feels that the implications, whether fully successful or only partially, could have wider reaching applicability. Well, these experiments are going to take place somewhere, someday, so we shall see. This is right up there with the head transplant for me, but what do you guys think? Far fetched or the way of the future? Let me know in the comments below, which I've scoured to find some questions to reply to. The Slow Bro and More asks, What is your favorite soda and why? I love Cherry Coke, hands down my favorite drink. It can be kind of hard to find up here, so whenever I do, I just hoard it and keep it all to myself. As for why, I just like the taste of artificial cherry. I think it's the best artificial flavor. King Monaco asked, What's your favorite sea animal? Well, firstly, I just had one of those moments where you forget every creature in existence because someone's asked you to identify a specific one, but I guess I'm gonna go with seal. If any of you guys remember the movie Andre, I watched that so many times when I was a kid and it really made me want a seal. Thanks so much for watching and leaving all those great comments and questions. Keep on leaving them and we'll keep replying, so stay tuned here on IO.